Hey Jackson buddy, how's it going? Just sitting on my strawberries? Don't blame me, they're juicy. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stardew Valley. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow, okay. Um, somewhat annoyed today, luck will not be on your side, so that rules out mining, which is fine. Uh, Queen of Sauce, and we get radish salad. Huh, okay, cool. Uh, you learned how to cook radish salad. Rad radish salad. Oh boy, oh boy. Bumper harvest day. Robin is also up there working on our silo. We've got mail. Who's this from? Uh, that's right, I found this recipe in the magazine and I thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give me a taste if you make it. Hehe, <laughs> Shane. Uh, we got the strange bun recipe from Shane. Bumper harvest day. Oh yeah, so we've got some strawberries to pick. Uh, we have... Let's switch to our fishing rod so we don't accidentally enable our sword. You scared off five crows. Good job, buddy. Uh, we have um, one more harvest left of this big batch of strawberries. And then, I, I don't care about your, your crows, buddy. And then we've got three more harvests left of the, the 20, which we, we got using the speed grow. Oh, no, we got two more harvests left of the 20. Did I say three? I meant two. So we've got, we've got 50 times one, and we've got 20 times two, so that's 90 more strawberry harvests. Didn't get any extra strawberries that time, that's fine. I think what I want to do today is actually expand my farm a little bit, and, and believe it or not, start growing even more stuff. Uh, also, these crab pots, um, I think what I, oops, don't want to throw that away. I want to take some bait, oops, uh, do that. I actually want to put some in there, oops, uh, because they're not much use as they are. Before we do anything though, uh, let's head to the gypsy wagon and see what she's got for sale, before we forget. Uh, we've got no birthdays to do this episode, so I might be a bit of a recluse. At the same time, I might do a little bit of gifting, because Sunday is the beginning of the gifting week. So everyone's gifts have been reset. You know, we've got some strawberries here for Demetrius and Maru. We've got a couple of parsnips left over for Pam. I might grow some more parsnips to give to Pam throughout the rest of the year, but I'm not sure about that. Um, kale, egg, orange sap- Ooh, 3,000 for an orange sapling. I think they're worth like 4,000 or 4,000. I'm gonna get that. And coffee bean for 300? She normally sells those for like 3,500. I'm, I'm getting a coffee. Oh, she's got more than one? No, 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 I'm not gonna get any more. Uh, rare seed for 800 and another rare seed for 1,000. Uh, the coffee beans are really good. Um, hang on, I am right in thinking that the oranges uh, produce tree... Uh, 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 bears fruit only in the summer. Fantastic, that's just what I need. Plus, they're one of Gus's favourite items, so I am glad <laughs> I remembered to check that. Um, in terms of where I'm going to plant it, I really don't know. We've also got to remember to go pick up our pickaxe from Gus today, and I might give him my wood chopping axe to upgrade, just because I, I think I need to do it. Um, coffee bean. I think I'm going to grow my coffee bean here, uh, because why not, and we can sort of expand that. Coffee beans are great because when they grow, every like two days they give you three coffee beans, and then you can either sell them or plant them, and then later on in the game when you unlock a certain item, you can, um, you can, uh, you can... <laughs> Where am I going with this? Uh, let's put the let's put the, the fruit tree there. Sorry, I got really quiet there because I was trying to focus. Um, yeah, when you unlock a keg, you can put the uh, the five coffee beans in a keg to make a a cup of coffee and get lots of money that way. It's 9 a.m. So I think what I'm gonna do is take some copper and oh, I don't have enough money to upgrade my copper axe. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll drop in on Pierre's and I'll sell a couple of my, um, a couple of my strawberries here. Uh, okay, I think that's all I really need to clear in terms of wood, which is going to be fine. Oh, I actually want to sell some more strawberries from Pierre because, uh, or to Pierre, because I want to get some more crops today. I want to get a lot of crops. Um, the idea which I have is that I want to, actually, let's go get our pickaxe for, ooh, ooh, maple syrup. Yes, that is going to be helpful. Yeah, the idea that I've had today is that I want to, um, I want to plant some more more crops, uh, mainly potatoes because they'll be ready on the twenty twenty uh, seventh. Right, there's our pickaxe. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, they'll be ready on the twenty seventh, and they give a lot of XP. Basically, by the time 
Um, by the time summer rolls around, I want to unlock the recipe for the next qualities or the next uh, like step up of sprinklers, so that I can get those down and not have to water as much crops. Um, so that would be good. Oh, I didn't know George went into the church on a Sunday morning. Oh, of course, it's Sunday morning. Okay, Pierre. First of all, you know what? I'm going to sell that bit of sap. I don't care. Okay, let's sell a little bit. Actually, we're getting a lot of money for those. Okay, I want to get like maybe... Um, how many do I want for potatoes? Maybe like 45? Let's see how many I can get. Oh, boy. Okay, right. So now I need to sell enough strawberries so that I've got enough money uh, to upgrade my axe. There we go. Awesome. So it's actually going to be quicker for us if we go back through this way and then take the minecart to Clint's, I think. But yeah, I have now just created a bunch more work for us because not only are we growing all of these crops, um, but we're now growing extra potatoes and we're now going to be growing uh, coffee beans. The Oh, oh, hello. Hi, Dazza. I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to the point. You know that empty cave over there, a little ways to the west? Well, I have a way to turn it into something useful for both of us. I'd like to set up the cave to attract some local species. That way I can observe them in a more controlled environment and you can harvest whatever products they produce. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. So if you're going purely for money, mushrooms is the way to go. I'm actually going to pick the bats because I've never picked the bats in a playthrough before and I, I kind of think it's going to be interesting. Alright, I'll go set it up for you right now. It shouldn't take any time at all. Thanks for letting me do this. You're welcome. I guess, maybe? We sold all of our strawberries but four. I'm just going to put them in there. Okay. Um, right, let's do a little bit of... Oh, wait, 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 wait. The whole point of me going that way was so that I could take the minecart to go to see Clint. Um, did, did it automatically kick me into the farm? Huh. I didn't realize. Nothing from that bin. That's fine. Okay, Clint, here you go. Upgrade my axe for me, please. Get started as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple of days. So we won't be able to use it tomorrow, and we'll have to pick it up on the 23rd, which is fine by me. All right, bus stop it is. Off we go. And really, I'm hoping that by the flower dance, which is on the 24th, I can upgrade my copper pickaxe once again. Okay, so here's the plan. 45, 2, 3, 4, 5. 45 um, uh, potatoes. Let's get them all planted. Uh, so, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Let's hoe all this out. And now that that's done, let's actually get some fertilizer down as well. Where's my sap? Over there fertilizer is going to be way important. Uh, what am I doing? Going to crafting. Uh, so we need 45 of those. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We got 43. <laughs> those little bits of sap I sold to Pierre, I shouldn't have done, but oh well. Let's just get these down. Two potatoes that aren't fertilized is not going to be the end of the world, is it? In fact, that could be those two spots right there. No, never mind. I've done a really bad job at spreading that out. Okay, a couple more left. Alright, now let's get these potatoes down. And then after that, we must water them. I think I've got enough here. We could always go and buy fertilizer from Pierre, but it's such a rip-off. It really is. Okay, and that is all done. Our scarecrow might not cover it. So, I'm going to make another scarecrow. Uh, get some coal. We'll also get some stone out as well, because I want to make a couple of other things here. Uh, so one scarecrow. Um, I want to make a preserves jar, but we need wood for that. Oh, did I just use up all of our wood? Never mind. Uh, so this scarecrow, I think I'll just place like here. There we go. Um, we will break up some of this stuff so it gets away from our crops because that could be badness. Oh, where's my copper pickaxe? So the copper pickaxe basically means that we can break um, some types of rocks quicker. Uh, so they take less hits, which is great. Now I know I planted this acorn, but I'm going to 
dig those back up because they might encroach on our crops. Um, you know what? Let's let's plant them over here a little bit. Oh, and we, we'll go take a look at the... Um, that one might not grow, but that's fine. We'll go take a look at the fruit bat cave. So yeah, these are the fruit bats. You can just see their little eyes. Oh, and they fly around. And every now and then they might leave some fruit. So that's just going to be helpful for either gifting or for... Um, uh, for commu uh, completing the community center. Okay, time to water all of these crops. In fact, I'm going to do a little bit of inventory management here. What am I not going to need? Basically all of that. Oh, I can't actually fit that. Haha, <laughs> never mind. Uh, inventory management. Do it like that. Yeah, that's good for me. Alright, time to get watering. This is going to take forever. Hey Jackson buddy, how's it going? Just sitting on my strawberries? Don't blame you. They're juicy. They're not even there yet. You need to, you need to wait for me to harvest them. Good oh boy. Alright, it is very, very late now. <laughs> 7.40. That took a long time. Uh, I'm probably going to have to water my crops in the morning before I forget. Now let's fill up our watering can. And I might just take a quick look into town and see if I can give anyone some gifts. See if I can give, give some gifts to a couple of people here. Um, other than that, today has been a too fantastic day. Uh, well, I don't know actually. I think it was fairly productive because we got a lot of, a lot of crops planted and that is going to definitely help us leading into summer. So yeah, no, today was productive. Let's head into the saloon, uh, because that's where most people gather. Probably not on a Sunday though. Uh, there's Pam and Clint. You know what, Pam? Have a parsnip. Yeah, I know it's really something. I'm the best, aren't I? Um... Okay, let's. I, I, don't, I think it's too late now to see George, so we won't bother looking into George. Uh, however, we will go in to see uh, Robin's family, see Demetrius and Maru, see if we can give them a gift or two, and then probably head to bed pretty early. Um, I did want to do a couple of other things, but it's fine. We will live and learn. Um, mainly, you know what? It's crazy. We've oh, it's locked until 8 p.m. Fine. It's crazy. We've only had like two days of rain this entire season, and one of them is like preset to always happen, and that's the the third of spring. Another leak there. Might as well pick it. It's a silver quality one. It's fine. We can give that to George. Another day. Don't want to forget old Georgie. So yeah, the reason why you want to make friends with people is that they send you stuff in the mail, which is pretty handy. I mean, capitalizing on friendship is the best thing to do in this game. No, I'm joking. Uh. It's uh, it's helpful, and if you're going to complete the game, uh, getting all of the cooking recipes is something that you're going to want to do. Kind of got a little bit more energy to use, so I will just go around and smash up some rocks nearby, uh, just so that we can use this energy, because I, I spent my energy, uh, or I, I, I used the salmon berries to give me s uh, some more energy, so I kind of want to make use of it. Plus, we've got a couple of hours, so might as well just smash up some rock. Some rock? Some rocks. Let's just hover our cursor over there. Make sure we don't get too low. Uh, this, that, we'll ignore that. A couple of rocks here, look, how about that? Six energy, it is 10.30pm, time to head to bed and call it quits for today. And hopefully tomorrow will be much better. Good boy, Jackson, good boy. Alright, so it's not going to tell us that we made too much money, obviously, because we only sold like... F oh, we leveled up farming to level 5. Uh, so, rancher, animal products are worth 20% more, or tiller, crops are worth 10% more. We'll go for tiller, uh, just because the, the buff which you get from level 10 from tiller is much, much better. So yeah, our strawberries are now worth more. 10% more. Okay, time to do day 22 of spring. Nothing going on today. It's a Monday, so we don't have to go see the gypsy wagon. Uh, what we do need to do, however, is I think start off by watering our crops. Now, if it says it's raining tomorrow, I'm going to be a little bit mad, but that's going to be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, let's take a look. And oh, it's going to be clear and sunny. Phew, it paid off. Okay, spirits are somewhat annoyed. That is fine as well. Living off the land. Uh, got your hands on a fishing pole and sell your catch. Fishing is a great way to make a little extra cash when you have some downtime. The distance your bobber uh, lands from threatening dry land determines what kinds of fish you'll hook, as well as the location, season, time of day, and weather. We already knew that. And we got more mail. Uh, come by the shop and check out the new rods I'm selling. They're the best money can buy, and you can customize them with different kinds of tackle. Hope to see you soon, Willie. I would, but I got no money. I found this recipe in the magazine, and I thought it would sound interesting. Feel free to give me a take. Oh, Shane gave us Pepper Popper as well. Oh, he must really like us. 
Hey, look at that. We got a snail. Oops. Didn't mean to pluck that out. And a periwinkle as well. So we'll sell those because we don't need them. Um, but I think I might just keep a chest nearby this with uh, some bait in it. Uh, it saves me from getting my bait out of my fishing rod all the time. Anyway, time to water all these crops. Oh boy, it's going to take a while. So that took 4 hours and 20 minutes. We can see here by Jackson... Wow, we have exactly enough water to water all those crops. We can see here by Jackson that our silo is finished and we have 0 out of 240 pieces of hay. We can see also that our energy is pretty much wasted at the moment, which is ugh, great. So if you grab our scythe and we head on, head on, head on over to the tall grass here, we can actually swing it and we will occasionally get some hay. And that will go straight into our silo. So that's going to be important when we have uh, farm animals to feed. Uh, so yeah, we can see here, piece of hay, 14 out of 240. So kind of helpful that you don't have to uh, collect that yourself. Anyway, get rid of that. I have no idea what to do for the rest of today. Maybe it's going to be a gifting day. Have I got anything to send in? No. I could process some geodes. I think I've got some geodes I can crack open. I've got five. Uh, we've got some iron ore. I haven't really got anything else we can do. I can put some copper ore ready to be smelted. Because we are going to need more copper ore to upgrade some tools. So that's not a bad idea. Um, yeah, let's go see Clint and see what we can get from these geodes. Hopefully something decent. And I might even do a small bit of mining. Even though we got, like, uh, bad luck. It might be, it might be helpful. So let's head into town and get rid of these geodes quickly. I'm still working on your copper axe. Uh, whoops, can't do that then. Um, you know what? I don't even care about how full my pockets are. Let's just go to the bus stop. No, not to the bus stop. Let's go to the mines, and let's just see if we can hit, like, maybe five or ten more floors. we just got to be careful of our, um, of our energy. So, of course, you know, now these rocks only take two hits with this pickaxe, which is pretty great. Um, obviously, bad luck is bad. I mean, look at this. We've got no staircases immediately available to us. There we go. That's better. Just at this point... Oh, we got a ghost over there. Oh, I didn't bring... Yes, I did bring food. Doi. I've got my cranberries. Uh, my salmon berries, not cranberries. Cranberries is a completely different season. Uh, so maybe we'll get down to floor 60. Hopefully, maybe 65 is what I'm aiming for. Uh, ghosty the ghost? Go away. Oh, and a bat. Ow, buddy. Please. So the only thing about the Neptune's Glaive is that it's got a high weight to it, which means it knocks enemies back quite far. Including the ghost. I mean, the ghost already has like high knockback anyway. Oh, look at that. We can we can take out iron ore in two hits, not four. That's pretty good. Um, I know I did see the exit down to the next level, but I want to make sure we can get some good amount of iron ore out of this. If we're going to have to upgrade all of our tools, um, then we're going to need, I think, a total of 40 iron ore. You know, bat wings, we kind of need those for lightning rods later on. Oh, look, another staircase. I'll take that one. Uh, yeah, we need those for lightning rods later on in the game, so we'll take them now. Um, plus, you can never have too much of any resource. Wow, look at all these crystals. I do like how you can just break the crystals using your sword. It's very helpful. Okay, grab the quartz, because refined quartz is something we will need. And break all of the ores first. See if we can't get a, a, a way down. This is quite a big floor, actually. The slime down here. You know what? Let's see what you got for me, buddy boy. Some sap and some slime. Fantastic. Well, we need to kill slimes anyway for the uh, for the adventurous guild, which is fine. It's just basically there's just lots of stuff to do. Frozen tear. We can give that to Sebastian. Is this diamond? I believe that's a diamond. Sweet. So you can see, yeah, the the background to the diamond is purple, meaning if you sell it, it's worth more than 500, which is. Something that I might be considering doing today. Okay, anything in there? Nothing. Not even nothing worth having. It's just nothing. <laughs> Alright, where is the next staircase? Give it to me on this rock, please. Thank you. Ask and you shall receive. Oh, never frozen tear. Aquamarine there, very good. Grab this iron ore. So yeah, I don't think we're going to be making too much progress today, but level 60 is definitely, you know, within reason. You know what, ghosty poo? Go away. And die. Thank you very much. Give me your solar essence. You are a good gift for the wizard. Okay. Any more ore? Got some dust sprites. That's going to be good. Get some free coal, maybe. Yep. Thank you. 
Okay, kill some bats. Murder, murder, murder. Wait, what just hit? Oh, the bat hit me. Duh. Okay. Now, this is technically a minecart floor, which means there's going to be a bag of coal. There we go. Can tell it's a minecart floor because of the pattern on the floor there. Ooh, some amethyst. Definitely take... I don't know why I break those crystals. There's never anything in the crystals. So, I don't know why I go and break them. I think it's because I can just break them straight away. So, I just think it's worth doing. Um, so some dust sprites. Level 59. You know, we might even make it to 65 today. That would be good. Ooh, jade. Fantastic gift for Emily there. So, we're getting lots of gifts for people today, which is pretty good. I thought we had bad luck. Heh. <laughs> Not me. Good luck, Dale. I've got a slime there. And I see that ghost creeping up on me. Go away. Okay, don't want to run out of hit points. Ooh, gold ore and a bunch of solar essences. Okay, dust sprites die, please. There we go. We'll just take that straight away because it was an annoying floor. What we got here? A crystal dagger. A pretty poor weapon, to be honest. Ooh, yeah, I've got to remember to come back down here and uh, do some fishing, haven't I? Because there's another fish which you can get, which is exclusive to that one floor. Um, but yeah, I, f I completely forgot about the, the ghost fish. But then again, you don't even need to catch ghost fish, because those ghosts can actually drop a ghost fish. So, maybe I'll, I'll get lucky and get one of those. Running low on energy again. Hit a couple more salmon berries. These have really saved my butt during s uh, spring. Hopefully I won't need them during summer, uh, because of all the, sp the sprinkler plan. Look at that slime just like ready to pounce on me. Get... Lost buddy. Alright, get a couple more iron. Always helpful. Actually got 20 iron so far. It's not as much as I thought it was. A frozen geode, very good. Lots of artifacts that could be hidden in those geodes, so definitely worth picking them up. Alright, give me a staircase now. Nope, didn't work that time. Do we have a bomb? No. Look at all the different gems we have on that second tab there. That's a pretty good haul. Another frozen geode. And another frozen geode. <laughs> Maybe, can you only get frozen geodes from these, um, these, like, pointy rocks? That'd be interesting. I'll have to keep my eye out and see if there's an Oh, staircase. See if there's any other drop from anything else. There's a bat over there. Let's, uh, take care of it swiftly, quickly. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, oh, no, I see a staircase. I'm just making a run for it. Yes. Don't want to deal with bats. Alright, dust sprites. I will happily deal with those, though. Are they dust sprites or dust spirits? I don't actually know. They might be spirits. I always get things wrong, so I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to break my way through to the next floor, because it's not going to be nice, and give me the staircase. More low energy. Or less energy, I should say. We are only two floors away from the checkpoint, so it looks like 65 is within grasp today. Very good, very fine. And there's no point checking the weather tomorrow as well, because we know that the next day is going to be sunny all day, because it's going to be a festival. So yeah, I don't know if I've already mentioned that, but whenever there's a festival, it's always going to be uh, sunny and clear, which is kind of frustrating, but it's fine. It means that we can upgrade uh, something. Uh, hopefully, I can send my pickaxe to be upgraded, because it would be great if we did. I might even send my wood chopping axe again. Hmm... Oh, I don't know, because the, getting the steel pickaxe would be great for mining, because we would we could knock all these stones out in, in one hit each. Like I said, it would be fantastic, because then less energy spent. Really? Have I really not found the staircase yet? The staircase is never under those big stones either, so I know not to look under those. You can just get a buttload of stone from them if you ever need stone. Um, there we go. More like it. Alright, slime. Get dead. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so what was I saying? <laughs> oh, goodness. It's been a long day. Alright, take out this ghost. I see there's a big pile of treasure over there, which I kind of want to get. Oh, that was a really weird low-pitched groan from the, the, uh, the ghost there. Alright, at this point, I really just want to get to the end of this floor, so... I did hear another bat squeak. I really don't know, because, like... If we were to get the, uh, oh, that's a lot of boxes here. Yeah, if we were to get the wood axe, no, not not wood axe, but the, the 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 steel wood chopping axe, then that could be huge for us. We run out of inventory space. Oh, we got some hardwood. We got a lot of hardwood there. Uh, the lead club, 
or lead rod even. I think I'm just going to trash it. We did get another one over there as well, which whatever. At this point, we're just looking for the exit so we can get out of here. Yeah, once we get the uh, the steel pickaxe, then we get a new area opened up to us, which would be pretty handy um, for completing the community center. But at the same time, there's no rush. Uh, just like there's no rush, really, for me to be able to do all of the mining. Oh, an Omni Geode. I definitely want that. What do I get rid of? You know what? I'm going to eat some cave carrots. And I'm going to use the dagger. See, the daggers are, are pretty crap. They're pretty quick. Um, but you can only, like, stab with them. So, you know what? I think I'm actually just going to get rid of that. Okay, pick up that Omni Geode. You know what, buddy? You know what, buddy? Oh, I thought I managed to dodge him. That was pretty funny. Okay, there we go. Alright, all we gotta do is just find the exit. How hard can it be? Don't say that, Dale. Because you're just tempting fate. Just gotta knock out the one stone that might have the exit in it. And then take it, and we are out of here today. Ten floors on a not-so-great luck day. Plus a bunch of frozen geodes. An omni geode. We got a diamond there. A bunch of jewels. You know what? This bat might even be holding the exit, so come over here. Come on, bring it on. Bring it on. Look at me. Running circles around you. No exit from you. Fine. We've got some dust sprites over there. This is a big floor. Um, oh, another frozen geode. There's a jade over there as well. So yeah, the dust sprites, I think they can like spawn inside rocks, and then they break the rocks open like when, when they... Oh, really? This is a huge floor. Wow. I did not expect this. Okay. Uh, yeah, when they break the rocks open, they can drop whatever was in the rock. Including, like, the staircase. So that one, you know, dropped a frozen geo. This one dropped a jade. Oh, it's getting late. Please, one of you, like, drop the staircase. Please. Please, pretty please. Uh-oh. <laughs> this could be bad. And we're running low on energy. Starting to feel exhausted. Top up on energy. This 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 floor is huge. I don't want to come back and do this floor. I mean, I know the floor layout will be different, but I don't want to have to do four, uh, four levels again. So please, is the give me the staircase so we can get out of here. Come on, be nice. <laughs> the good news is we can we can take the minecart back to the bus stop like ridiculously quickly. So there's not going to use any time to get there. So we can stay out until oh it's one o'clock nearly. Come on, give me the exit. Is it really going to be like the last stone I break? Oh, this is bad. This is bad. 1am. I do not want to pass out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, come on. Where's the exit? Is it going to be one of these stones like near the entrance here? Uh-oh. We're getting exhausted again. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> 120. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to go to like 140 and then I'm going to make a run for it. Please, just give me the exit. Come on. Come on. Please. Come on. One of you be nice. Be nice. This stone. This stone right here. Ah, dang it. Okay, no. I'm making a run for it. I don't trust it. I don't even... No, I'm not going to get back in time either. Uh, Minecart. Uh, to the bus stop. Ooh, 10 minutes. No, I have overexerted myself today. I want to see, though, if I can do the trick with the journal by using the mouse here. Oh, you can. So the idea is you open up the journal and uh, and it like resets like how much you can walk. That was uh, that was sneaky, but calling it quits there, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. I don't think I shipped an. Oh, I did ship a couple of fishing things, didn't I, from the uh, from the crab pots. Oh, uh, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I of course will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.